The Osmo Pocket is a lovely little camera, but one of the big complaints that many have, including me, is that the FOV is quite small, especially when you're vlogging. Will this new little product from a company called Ulanzi help? Let's test it and find out. So into us from this company called Ulanzi is the OP5. This is basically a tiny little wide angle lens for the Osmo Pocket. And as with the ND filters and the other products that we get for this lovely little camera, it's magnetic, so it's dead easy to apply. You get it in this nice oversized protective metallical case, and there is the tiny little lens. This thing is tiny. Now, because it is a mechanical gimbal, these lenses do have to be super lightweight, as this one is. Otherwise, it will interfere with the very delicate mechanics and motors of the gimbal on the end of the Osmo Pocket. So, super lightweight it is, and as mentioned, it is magnetic. So, attaching it is as simple as that. <laughs> Now, if you don't put it dead central, you will get quite a bit of blur around the edges. So when you do apply this, in the testing that I've been doing, I found that you do have to make sure you get it dead central. But that's it applied. Links to it are in the video description. So without further ado, let's get out and about and test it to see if it makes our footage better. So in the car is one area where you're very likely to need a wide angle lens because you can only hold your arms so far away from you when you're sat down in a car. So let's stick the wide angle lens on, up like that. How is that? Is that any better? Now obviously I can't see it at the moment because I'm recording, but hopefully you can see a lot more of the interior here as well as little Ellis. Say hello Ellis. <laughs> so uh, definitely a good use case for a wide angle lens, but does the picture look any good? What's the warping like? Is there blur in the corners? Just before we head back outside, let's take that wide angle lens off. Wow, and that gives you a good idea again of how narrow the FOV is without that wide angle lens. Anyway, let's head back outside. So it's a lovely day today and we're in a garden center. And at the moment I've got it in selfie mode, so facing me and obviously I've got my arm outstretched to get a decent FOV. Let's pop the lens on. How does that look? Already I can see from the preview that I don't need to hold my arm out as much as I normally would when I'm walking around and vlogging. And definitely that's a better effect, but I can't see if there's any blur on the sides of the image at the moment. Probably not until I get the footage into Adobe Premiere. But I've got little Ellis here with me. Ellis, you can say hello. And with ease, I can get us both in shot here. Whereas if I take the lens off, again, the FOV narrows and it's not quite as easy. So this is really where you need a bigger FOV because if I go and visit Ellis in his little house, <laughs> it's a little bit close. If we put the lens on like that, that's better, isn't it? Yay. <gasps> So bigger FOV or this lens is not just for selfie shooting, <laughs> but it also makes capturing stuff that's forward facing much easier because the small FOV means it's quite hard to keep track of the what you're looking at. So for now, remove the lens. There you go, quite a substantial difference. Just another point worth noting, when you actually position the lens on the camera, it does actually slide in and lock into within the inner ring, so then you know whether you've got it fitted correctly or not. And of course that avoids any blur around the edges. So another observation is that you can't put the lens on with the gimbal turned off. And the reason is the Osmo Pocket does its little calibration routine every time you turn it back on and it actually gets stuck. So you need to unfortunately put the lens on with the Pocket turned on already. And as long as you don't force the gimbal in a different direction, there's no harm in doing that. Hello, Alice. Oh, no! <laughs> High five. Yay! 
So overall, considering the low cost of this product, it's definitely a nice thing to have in your Osmo Pocket toolbox. Do remember that you will get slight blur at the edges of the image, but that's the nature of any wide angle lens like this, which isn't designed specifically for the camera. The other thing I've noticed is that you cannot turn the Osmo Pocket on with this lens installed. The reason is the Osmo Pocket goes through an initialization process when you turn it on. And with this wide angle lens installed, it fails that initialization because the lens hits the bottom of the gimbal. So turn the Osmo Pocket on first and then very gently apply the lens. The benefit here is that it is magnetic. It's not like the drones where you have to screw it or push it on. Therefore, you're not really going to cause any damage to the gimbal motors as you would with a drone lens when you have to firmly push them on. But in summary, a really cheap, good little product. Links to it are in the video description. Be sure to comment below with your thoughts and also subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.